So I completed my residency in June and I started for plastic surgery preparation in July. I did not read before it. And I started with the reading graphs. And um, for the first reading I read in around mid of August that I completed one reading. At that time, it was very difficult to grasp because it was the first reading. And then I substituted the speed. And then I started watching your videos. And uh, the way the videos explained, I read again the chapters from graphs. So I felt that general surgery preparation was done before only, most of the time, uh, most of the things. But then I saw your videos about general surgery, the Bailey videos that you told the questions that can pick up from line to line. That helped me revise the things about general surgery. And plastic surgery videos were for conceptualizing the, uh, because that is mostly from the experts. And they tell us about the practical aspects that are not given in the books. So that was very helpful. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Vandana Kapoor for scoring a topmost rank of C and then migrate to AML rank number plastic surgery. Such a phenomenal and wonderful achievement. And congratulations Thank you. to you. Thank you. So great doctor to see you like this and achieving like this and uh, in surgical superficiality. And we wish to know from you where you started your career till date what all you have done. Uh, yes, sir. I did my MBBS from Ames, Jodhpur. Uh, I was the third batch. And uh, then I went on to do my master's in general surgery from PGI Chandigarh, which I completed in June this year. Doctor, the question is, why plastic surgery? Because you have a lot of speciality and your choice of plastic surgery, any specific reasons? So I feel that um, to uh, choosing a super speciality is like marriage. You can either have an arranged marriage or you can have a love marriage. Okay. And for me, it was a love marriage. I did not put into much logic, like um, the future, the statistics and everything. I just found it artistic and um, joyful when I went into the plastic surgery OT in my rotation. So I chose this. So you, you felt that it is the most appropriate branch that could suit your personality? Uh, yes, sir. And uh, plus it is very artistic and it is it has uh, very innovative potential in it. So that is why. And when I started reading, I my interest too. Okay, great. Now, uh, can we know once you have decided to go with your superficiality of plastic surgery, and how did you start your preparation? What all you did? You started after your your residency program or during it? Can you share something on that? Uh, yes, sir. So I completed my residency in June, and I started for plastic surgery preparation in July. I did not read before it, and I started with the reading graphs, and. Um, for the first reading I read in around mid of August that I completed one reading. At that time, uh, um, it was very difficult to grasp because it was the first reading. And then I substituted the speed and then I started watching your videos. And uh, the way the videos explained, I read again the chapters from graphs. Okay. So because uh, most of the gastro and rest of the aspects of surgery will be in general surgery because the plastic surgery is little away from the routine of mm -hmm. uh, for the perspective and view of general surgery. So how quickly, because you started in July, within two months, I think you have consolidated and you have gone to topmost rank. Can you tell us how are you able to do it within a very short period of time? Sir, I was, it was decided for me that I'll have to do this in this two, three months only because I did not want to take a much gap. Or, um, and uh, before also, I did not start because I wanted to focus on MS general surgery at that time. So I felt that general surgery preparation was done before only most of the time, uh, most of the things. But then I saw your videos about general surgery, the Bailey videos that you told the questions that can pick up from line to line. That helped me revise the things about general surgery. And plastic surgery videos were for conceptualizing the, uh, because that is mostly from the experts and they tell us about the practical aspects that are not given in the books. So that was very helpful. Okay. Now, was that last two months of full-time preparation or uh, I, mean, I mean, how, how it yeah. Yes, sir. It was full time preparation. I just wanted to sit and study. Okay. So you got the results of uh, CML of rank three and you want to go to the interview. How are you preparing for this uh, interview aspect and what were, what were they asking? And uh, I mean, how could you approach that? For the interview part, sir, initially I saw the videos from Dr. Arush that were there in the app about how to prepare for interview from the previous years. And then I got a hold of the topics that are asked in the interview. And I started watching speed videos again for revising. And uh, after uh, seeing the interview, then I uh, used to see the surgical videos from the uh, YouTube. 
I don't think that was much needed. But then that got me uh, into the uh, concepts of plastic surgery that was needed for HIV. Okay, then once the results were out of rank number one, then how it was, I mean, I think your dream of your speciality and also and in Delhi, and I think in Ames, Delhi, I mean, where are you going to choose? Uh, you are, uh, you are going to choose in Delhi? Or... I have not decided completely. Not yet decided, okay. Very good. So what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of MCH as superficiality and also plastic surgery? Your message. So my message will be to stay clear and focused in your path. Have a defined path, a path beforehand only, and then try not to deviate it, deviate from it, and have a set timelines and goals, how to achieve it at what time. That is most important. And always take guidance from seniors. Because uh, this is the first time that we are going through these exams. But there are already people who have been through this and they know the practical challenges that uh, that happens. Great. Time to thank and whom all you want to thank, they have been part of your growth in your career and you can do so. Yes, sir. First of all, my parents, my father from above and my mother who have been guiding me. And uh, uh, my best friend, Dr. Ashish Saini and um, Vandita Tawar. And I have been very lucky in having a lot of group, group of people, my friends that empower me and that help me all the time. And uh, my uh, friend and colleague, Dr. Ankit, who guided me through this procedure, my senior, Dr. Satyaki, who was ranked one last time. And <laughs> I saw his interview and I used to talk to him all the time how to do, uh, how to do about the thing. Now, you are in, in interview today in the same position. Yes, sir. I used to see <laughs> and tell that you will be the one next time here. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Congratulations. Now, once again, we bring in all the wishes and greetings to you, you. to have a great career ahead in plastic surgery. And definitely, you will do great because you. you have a lot of passion for it and wish you all the best. Thank you.